Welcome to Reread. Well, it's finally time to get to the Empire Strikes Back novelization. It's been a long road. <laughs> but uh, as we get to this, there's a few things. I mean, this follows the movie point for point just about. There are a few things I want to discuss that were different. Uh, some things I talked about in my first review and some things I've forgotten. So when I reread this, I, I relearned, I guess. Um, it, Luke is 23 in the uh, movie. And that's kind of weird because for some reason I always thought that he and Leia were 18 in New Hope. Now, it even says that, you know, Luke was 20 years old during, you know, when he blew up the Death Star, so now he's three years have passed and he's 23, but I find that interesting. Yoda is blue, I, I already knew that already, and uh, Chewbacca interrupts Luke, I mean, Leia and Han while they're kissing, not C-3PO. I found that interesting because it's Chewbacca who roars something and kind of breaks up Han and Chewie, uh, Han and Leia kissing. Ooh, Han and Chewie kissing. That's a different book. But uh, it wasn't C-3PO. And I was like, oh. It basically just says, yeah, sure, Chewie, I'll be right there. And then Leia kind of walks off. He's like, hmm, you know, like that, that really worked out well. Uh, now, of course, Luke's um, training is a little bit longer in this. The, like Yoda throws up the stick. He slices it up into like four pieces. And he said, if you were a Jedi, there'd be eight there. And he's practicing his leaps on Dagobah, like trying to do, I guess, force leaps and stuff. Also, uh, when he's training in the movie with Yoda, with Yoda on his back where he's doing flips and swinging from vines, in the book, he's uh, actually dodging two seeker droids. And I'm assuming these were the ones that were in uh, episode four that he was using during the while he was blindfolded trying to fight off the little stingers, because he said these sting a little bit harder than the ones he's used to practicing. Uh, remember, a lot of this is probably stuff that they had originally in, uh, you know, envisioned for the movie, but then changed. And a lot of the concept art, Yoda was blue. So all this stuff, and some of this, I, I don't know if it would have been deleted scenes. I doubt that, because I've never heard about any of this stuff being filmed. But surely it was like first concept here. Also, uh, as Han's getting tortured, it says this is the first time Han Solo has ever screamed. Oh, no one's got him to be in extreme pain before where he screamed before. So that's interesting. And uh, Luke feels Darth Vader as he gets to Cloud City. Like he know, And he calls out to Darth Vader. He's like, I know you're here, uh, Darth Vader. Show yourself. And then, you know, he hears the breathing and Darth Vader goes, Ah, you, you know, hello, you know, young Skywalker. The Force is strong with you, but you're not a Jedi yet. You know, but there was a little uh, <clears throat> talk by Luke. Also, Vader, when he puts his sword down, uh, lightsaber down, and he starts, you know, using uh, things, throwing things off the shelf with the force at Luke, actually, he tells Luke, strike me down. And so he lowers his guard, and Luke's like, oh, wow. So then Luke surges to attack, and that's when he starts getting hit by all these things. And of course, they kind of re envision that for the movie, which is fine. I just find that interesting. Also, uh, uh, they didn't. Uh, when Luke is hanging off the antenna, he actually falls. Leia and them don't get there. Well, they don't get there just to fly up to him and you know bring him in. He actually falls from the antennas, falling into the falling from the sky, and the Millennium Falcon swoops down underneath him, and Lando pops up and catches him as he as he's falling through the air. Which okay, that's pretty neat. Uh, they probably didn't have time or, you know, maybe they know how to do it or they didn't want to do that scene, but that's kind of how that went down. Other than that, everything, I mean, there's a few, you know, different words and a few things added here and there, but those were the new interesting things I found about it. Now, I don't mind reading these novelizations from the movies. In fact, they're not very good because back then all you had to do was watch the movie or a rough draft of it and then just report what you saw. So that it doesn't offer much else outside of what the movies entails is fine. I actually enjoyed reading it. All right, folks, that's it for now. See you next time.